Hi, this is Jay Kapoor here and today I'm gonna review a ROM. Yes, I'm gonna review Google RS V2 by Vivul Verma. This ROM is ported for Lava RS 405 which runs on the MTK657 processor. If you want this ROM to run on your device, you just have to port it first. Porting is pretty simple. You just search Google for the porting guides. Coming back to the ROM review, it's pretty easy to install this install ROM. Just boot into recovery, wipe all the data and all the cache files and install zip. After install, the first thing that you will notice is the, the beautiful, beautiful and red anim, uh, boot animation which is backported by Vipul Verma to work in work for our device resolution. Uh, the default one was lagging a bit. After that, you will notice the Google one time uh, setup wizard. Just choose English and uh, next 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 and you are uh, pretty much set after that you will notice the bright uh, the beautiful lock screen with a gradient status bar swipe left to access camera and swipe right to unlock it and swipe up to access Google now which is uh, which is a great feature in Android just uh, camera is working fine in this room as you can see camera is working fine the, uh, the default camera in this room is snap camera default camera is snap camera and the gallery is also snap gallery which is again a good choice after that after your room is uh, if you are listening to music in loudspeaker mode you will notice some you will notice that the uh, volume is too loud and it's cracking to fix this go to the settings and go to developer options and scroll down go to engineer mode and then swipe right you will see connectivity then swipe right once again you will see hardware testing in hardware testing select audio and go to loudspeaker mode and max volume set it to 140 it will be set the default will be 150 or 160 just clear this and write 140 and click on set and after that you uh, you will no longer notice that cracking voice and all that uh, the the framework is highly modified to look like KitKat. This ROM is basically a mixture of KitKat and Android L with the base of Android 4.1.2. The settings is also highly modified to look like KitKat. The toggles are changed to white, uh, white. and you will also notice that there is a Android 4.2 lit, uh, lit droid widget panel. You can customize uh, what to be shown here. Just go to settings and go to display, then lid droid panel and select that and widget buttons and select the thing that you want in the panel, which is again a good work by Whipple. You will also notice uh, the scroll effect, which is called list view animation. Just go to display and list view animation and turn it on wave left as you can see the animation is pretty good uh, to prevent 95% of errors just go to storage and select default write disk to SD card this ROM is beautiful and it's best for daily usage is also great in battery and RAM department the RAM management is pretty good I got up to 250 MB RAM free on first boot without killing any apps after killing all the apps I got up to 275 to 280 MB RAM free internal storage as you can see internal storage is 293 MB free which is pretty good for more internal storage, you can use link to SD. For more performance, you can use Greenify. For the build prop is Nexus 5 build prop. The signal icon is, as you can notice, is KitKat signal icon 
with changeable colors coming to dialer the dialer is also highly modified to look like cricket keyboard is android l keyboard just go to messaging and type uh, you will not notice the android l keyboard on first boot because the theme is not set to android material design just go to settings and go to what you say lang a language and input and tap on google keyboard and go to advanced and change color scheme to material after that you will notice the android l keyboard is changed to the material design android l keyboard the room is pretty beautiful uh, this room has a 3G SIM switching that means you can use 3G on second SIM also the Easter egg in this room is KitKat to see this go to settings and go to the about phone option and Android version 4.4.4 but it's 4.1.2 it's just a build trick tap on Android version until you see a KitKat the Easter egg is KitKat. The framework is highly modified to look like KitKat and Android L, and the uh, the audio is also KitKat. That camera click sound and volume uh, and charging sound and all that is changed to KitKat, and the fonts are also changed to KitKat. Uh, Coming back to lock and unlock sound, uh, the lock and unlock is Samsung un lock and unlock sounds, which is pretty crisp and clear. Uh, the mu uh, talking about music, the, this room, the default music player in this room is Walkman, powered by Dolby, which is, is a great combination. A perfect combination to listen music this room has Dolby you just have to enable it for the first time just go to Dolby Dolby digital plus and turn this on after it's turned on you can select your preset Mu movie music game voice custom 1 custom 2 it's awesome try it just awesome Please note that after installing Gravity Box, which is an exposed module, you will lose that gradient status bar effect. Everything is working in this room, including Wi Fi, Bluetooth, everything. Just everything is working, no FCs, nothing random, re nothing like random reboots and random crashes. If you're facing some random reboots and system you are crashes, just reinstall this room just follow the procedure carefully and reinstall the room you will not notice any type of crashes so uh, that's it for today thanks for watching if you like my video be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want more video like this then hit like in this video and i will give you more rom reviews so thanks for watching this is jay kapoor signing off